Hi there, this is Marty from OwingsArt.com and today I thought we could take a look at these chrome markers from Flysea. You ever find yourself scrolling through Instagram or some other social media and you see a product being demonstrated and you think to yourself, wow, I'm gonna, I want to try that. That looks exciting. Let's give that a try. Well, that's how I felt when I saw the Flysea chrome marker being demonstrated and immediately said to myself, hey, I'd like to try that. I've tried a bunch of other different products and this would be great. So I bought the 0.7, the one and the three millimeter size. And like everything else for my channel or 99% of it, I purchased this out of pocket because I want to be fair and unbiased. So the first thing I'm going to be able to say about this, and I don't mean to be overly grouchy about this, but uh, the packaging is misleading and completely unnecessary. And by misleading, at first it's not transparent where it should be, and then it's it's superfluous where it doesn't need, you know, where, where it shouldn't be. So there's too much packaging for this little marker. That's number one. You don't need it in a big box like that. And you don't need it, you know, it wasn't designed in California, made in China, like Apple products. You don't have to put it in like uh, your box is your product. Um, and then there's this frustratingly difficult plastic shrink wrap that is on the pen. You you find it physically and mentally taxing to try to get that plastic wrap off of the marker itself. And it's just a really bad opening experience for an end user. Basically, I'll describe it as it almost seems like the manufacturer really doesn't want you to use their product or to go through such an ordeal to get to use the product that you'll appreciate it once you do get it open. So even to get into this thing is like a roadside sobriety test. If you can't open this marker, you're definitely uh, inebriated. Um, so anyway, I tried uh, my best to, with all the other pens to sort of come up with a better way to open it and there just isn't, it's just frustrating. And then they say to shake the marker up, they don't say for how long, so I think I gave it like a good 15, 20, 30 seconds or something like that, um, really to get that that ink in there moving. The shrink wrap is on there. I would call it the incredibly difficult shrink wrap. If it's on there to like prevent air getting at the nib or something, then why is the nib designed with a spring-loaded action to sort of get the ink to flow? Which, by the way, they don't tell you how long it takes, so it and it took an inordinate amount of time. What did I do wrong? Is there like a membrane in there that has to break a seal? I, I don't know. I just, there's no pop, no click, nothing. So I just press down on this in the hopes uh, that at some point I'll see some liquid start to come down out of this marker. And there I finally started to see a little bit of liquid seeping down into the nib. Uh, of this marker. But again, uh, that took a long time and was frustrating. Now, first line across, wet, it comes out really incredibly shiny. Now I'm using a, a toned paper here so you can, maybe it shows up a little better, that was my thinking, but I don't think so. Uh, once it dries, it, it, it still has a certain shine to it, but not a, um, not an overwhelmingly like obviously like not in the way it's advertised and and definitely it's scratchy and it probably is made that way so that the nib uh, remains strong I, i'm not sure but uh, you know i'd be interested in that so and i thought that the flow would be better so I, I i pressed on the nib again but the flow just doesn't get better it's just one consistency um so here you can kind of see the lines and we'll get up close and personal with a, a little bit of this uh, work as we go along here in the video, but so really frustrating is the packaging, which is superfluous and unnecessary uh, amount of packaging. Wasting that time and effort on that should all that should go back into the making the product better. And then the incredibly tough shrink wrap on this, which makes no sense. Now here you can sort of see um, the nib with the liquid that's flowed down in it, and you can. You get a pretty good look at at that and the nib is like it, it is tough i'll give them that it's a nice strong nib doesn't seem to be uh 
you know, it, it doesn't get weaker as you press down. So that's good. You can, there's a distinct scratchy noise when you use this um, particular nib and you can just kind of hear it. And, and, and it's the same with the others. Uh, and, and also there's an odor to these markers. And, you know, there's nothing in here about them being non-toxic. So, I mean, I know chromium is a, a carcinogen, right? It's a cancer causing agent. So that's for sure. So maybe you, you have a warning on your product label or something like that. I, I don't know. I don't know what's in it because they're not transparent about what these are made of. So that's another thing uh, that lacking transparency. I, I had to put the markers down and come back um, later because of the, the, the smell. It was just, yeah, it's, it's sort of beyond a marker smell for me. And maybe, maybe that's just me, but I, you know, like use in a well-ventilated area is what I would say. And definitely don't sniff the tips of these markers. Don't, don't do that. So here you can sort of see the lines going down and, you know, it, it's not as advertised, but it's not terrible either. I mean, you can definitely see sort of the reflectiveness. And when I hold up the, the paper in a minute here, you'll, you'll be able to see kind of at an angle that there's, uh, there is a reflectiveness, not a mirror finish like in the advertisement, but it's 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 not horrible either. So you can kind of see the shine there. So we'll try some different sizes here. I wanted to give each one of these sizes a different shot, but every time I opened it, I had to re-experience the uh, disappointment of the packaging, and then the the smaller the markers got, the harder it was to sort of get this plastic wrap off of the off of the marker. I tried twisting, pulling, you know, try to use your nail on a corner. It's just it's it's no good, man. It's just not not how to treat a customer or an end user. So, you know, I'm usually you guys know how I'm usually upbeat about products and you know, if you're going to take the time to make it, I'm probably going to have some nice things to say about it, but I just ah I found this incredibly frustrating to use and I just hopefully save you some money before you spend it on a product that hasn't quite found itself yet. I really think a couple of things, you know, I'll just highlight while we look at this, um, this particular pen. Firstly, you know, change the packaging, you know, change the packaging and don't make it so it's just so wasteful it's an unnecessary i mean sure if you're trying to hit the short-term market and then you're going to go out of business in a year after you make a few bucks with your product sure fine but if you want to build a long-term loyal customer base this is not how to do it don't make the the initial experience with your product so frustrating and and discouraging i mean yeah okay so anyway again to the shaking of the marker and the pressing of the nib uh, again, I don't know if there's a membrane in there or a seal that needs to be broken. Certainly there's no indication of that. It's just like you put the nib in there and press down on the spring-loaded nib and eventually you hope the liquid will, will come down in, in the pen. See nothing there? Nope. Shake it like a Polaroid picture. Nothing's coming out. Um, so... Yeah, I went at this for quite some time. Yeah, I won't bore you with the rest. Thought it'd be a good idea to try it on some, just some plain white watercolor paper. So here I'm just going to try some text, a little bit of text. And I really want to compare this to a Sharpie, which I use extensively, a silver Sharpie. This is just a plain old silver Sharpie. Um, and <laughs> lo and behold, it's actually a bit better, in my opinion, than this marker. So I'm going to hold this up here, kind of give you an angled shot at this. Um, certainly it's darker and maybe not quite as reflective, but it still does have some reflective property in it. So you can sort of see that um, as the paper bends. Yeah, not maybe not as 
chrome like but i think maybe the trade-offs are better because a the sharpie doesn't smell like it's killing me and b um you know very easy product to use it's been around for a long time so not going to be disappointed using a silver sharpie at all um so again here having trouble with some of the liquid coming down in this particular pen and then you can see how how light it is in comparison but then it does possess slightly more reflectivity or i'd say it's a slightly better chrome look that's a real tight look at the markers in comparison to a regular Sharpie marker. So you can see they're reflective, but also reflective with the Sharpie. So um, you know, maybe slightly more with the Fly C, but honestly, not enough for the expense. I mean, they weren't cheap and, you know, for what you're getting, I'd say stick with Sharpie, you know, so I can't recommend the Fly C. If I was gonna give advice to Fly C to sort of improve their product, Number one, get rid of the superfluous, unnecessary, and wasteful packaging. Number two, get rid of the absolutely frustratingly difficult shrink wrap uh, that they put around each pen uh, that it's new. Improve the time that the liquid gets into the nib so that you're able to use the marker in under you know three or four minutes um, because time is money and it just takes too long. Uh, to, to use the actual marker. It's like very difficult. Uh, you open a Sharpie and it works instantly. Also be more transparent about what's in your product and the dangers of it. I'm absolutely 100% sure that um, it can't be good. If you're not listing it, then I'm gonna assume that there's a reason you're trying to hide what's in the product from, from the consumer. So again, I cannot recommend these. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna give it a 100% avoid purchasing these. Do not purchase this product until it's improved and um, they do a better job with transparency. There's just too many alternate products that are better made, more thoughtful, and more transparent on the market. Well, if you haven't gone over to owingsart.com lately, please pay my site a visit and uh, check it out. Check out other videos I've made here on the channel and it's right near Thanksgiving time. So for my folks uh, and viewers and subscribers in the United States, happy Thanksgiving to all of you. Thank you for supporting the channel. Um, I posted on this a while back, but I was astounded and amazed that there's been 5 million views of, of the videos that I've been making for the last decade or so. Thank you so much for that support. I really appreciate it. And if you're not a subscriber, I hope you do. Check out my other videos. I'm usually not as critical about a product, but this particular product is just not market ready. So anyway, thanks very much. And I'll catch you guys again after the holiday. Um, again, appreciate you stopping by today. For owingsart.com, this is Marty. So long, everybody. Bye-bye.